Hey everybody, it's Maggie with Lead and Love Canine, and today I'm gonna talk to you guys about how to get your dog started walking on a treadmill. So, a lot of great reasons to train your dog to use a treadmill. Some dogs need a little bit of extra exercise. Uh, young dogs, really high energy dogs, can really benefit from this little bit of an extra workout on the treadmill. Um, you know, you can also get your dog up on the treadmill when the weather's not so great. I also want you to know that um, the treadmill work doesn't replace the structured walk. You're still going to want to get out there every day and take your dog on a nice 30 to 40 minute structured walk. And you know, it might not seem like it, but the treadmill is also a really great mental exercise for your dog. Dogs have to focus on, you know, keeping pace with the speed of the treadmill and it just really helps them get into a nice little calm but yet active psychological groove. So I have my little training dog Fiona here with me today and she's going to help me demonstrate how to get started on the treadmill. This is Fiona's first time on the treadmill so we're going to be doing a little bit of troubleshooting. So let's see how it goes. So here Fiona and I are making our first approach up to the treadmill. I'm going to go ahead and get the treadmill started on the lowest speed and get her up on there. I'm going to use a little bit of light leash pressure to lead her on to the treadmill. And then right here, a little bit of leash pressure back, letting her know that she needs to stay in the middle of the treadmill belt. And I'm gradually going to be increasing the speed of the treadmill. I find that some dogs um, find it much easier to find a little nice groove in walking on a treadmill if it's going a little bit faster. So I think I had her up to about um, a mile an hour at this point. So I'm standing on her left side and sort of anchoring her there with my body. I can use leash pressure if she starts falling behind and I can use uh, leash pressure again back if she starts moving forward a little bit too quickly. I find sometimes if you stand on the left side of your dog in heel position, they are a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more relaxed and they can just kind of, um, you know, it kind of simulates them walking with you on the left side. So here I stopped the treadmill and ushered her off. She did a great job. Now this here is our second attempt getting on the treadmill. Uh, this time I popped her up on there and started the treadmill. And as you're going to see in a minute, she has a little bit of difficulty uh, right here understanding that she needs to keep moving or she'll fall off the back of the treadmill. Um, she catches on really, really quickly. A little bit of a struggle, but you know, nothing too major. Um, she's actually done a fantastic job acclimating to the treadmill considering this is her first time. Um, here I'm moving around to the front of the treadmill. And this is just to teach her that, you know, she can't come forward off the treadmill and she can't move backwards off the treadmill. A um, little bit of light leash pressure there to let her know, even though I'm in front of her, she needs to stay in the middle of the treadmill. And right here, I'm going to move back to her left side. And gradually, I want to start increasing the speed of the treadmill and you're going to see here in a minute she gets into a nice little jog um, right about here. so I'm just keeping that leash pressure moving her um, forward a little bit she's slowly kind of figuring out you know how she has to manage the speed of the treadmill. She's doing wonderful. Um, eventually I would be able to loop the leash over the bar there at the front of the treadmill and not have to hold on to it. Um, I do want to make it very clear though that you should never leave a dog tied to a treadmill unattended. 
So just make sure that you're always there in case they were to panic or um, you know, need you to shut the treadmill down rather quickly. Questions, you can email me at leadinlovecanine at gmail.com.